nice to know how to cook something else. So I use cookbooks that I found in my cousin's house, take them from her house, come home, learn it, give it to my brother, see if they like it. If they like it, I'll continue to cook it. It's just like early morning games. I might cook some pancakes or something, take it on the road for my team if they need something to eat. It's just... I, I need just, to be on your team then. You over there making everybody food. What uh? What's your favorite thing to cook? My favorite thing to cook is chicken parmesan. Oh, so you like a restaurant kind of, huh? I thought you about to be like, you know, I would have said like a tuna melt, something easy. You feel me? Like it take two seconds to make it. But that's dope though. That's what's up. That stuff, but it's like with my brothers, they're extremely picky. They don't really eat much so I tend to cook for them more than I cook for myself mm -hmm. so I cook like whatever they would eat and like fancy type they eat all that fancy stuff so I'll cook it and I'll make myself like a sandwich or some pancakes or something yo I'm proud of you I don't even know you you, you got it first of all you have a you are very well spoken that's number one like most kids don't know how to speak and it's not their <laughs> fault they just I don't know like again like certain when you younger, things are cooler than, you know, talking regular. But I could tell you got a good head about you by the way you talk. And then for you to have that mindset and to know how to do stuff for yourself is rare because most people don't, like. So, I mean, you 16, you just, like I said, just enjoy being a kid and just have a story to tell. Have a story to tell. And I, I got to tell people, too, like, be kind to everybody because... You never know what somebody else's situation is. Like, certain people, they act a certain way or they have a certain perception about them because they're, like, not happy with themselves. And it's just like, like you said, you're all about positive energy. So just because somebody else negative don't mean you got to be like that. Or, like, you know, I mean, when you with your friends, it's okay to crack jokes and stuff like that. But it, it can't come from, like, an angry, like, mean place. It's just a, a fun joking around thing. But, like, I don't know. It's just the little things I think can really help somebody. Like, me, it's so different because when I travel and I come back to Trenton, Trenton people are so ignorant. Like, they're so, like, street and, like, you know what I mean? Like, they're so tough. It's just, like, I go into the store or I'm in a drive through and I'm like, you know, how was your day? Or, like, are you good? You, you, you know what I'm saying? Are you, are you okay? And they're like, what would you like to eat? Like, they're not used to, they're not used to somebody having a conversation with them. So it's, it's like, like I tell my mom all the time, like I can't stand being, the more and more I leave, the more I come back and I feel like, it's like, I feel like a stranger because I'm so, I am very cultured and I'm very, you know, like I can be street, but I can be educated too, like, or I can be classy, but out here, all they know is street. So it's like, when I come back home, I got to talk like I'm, you know what I mean? Like I'm from the projects or they don't, they don't understand like educational intellectual conversation so I have to I have to say what I want to say but say it like I'm in the hood so That's how it, yeah I had I made a choice to switch from a private school to a county to like a regular school mm -hmm. private school it was nice and all but I don't want to just learn how to work how to like work with private school people like they're all nice and everything yeah 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 but, for sure yeah they're all they're nice and everything but like that's not the real world. That's not always what it's going to be. So I decided to switch from a private school to a public school. And I learned. Like, people are, learned. some people, but some people, they actually care. Yeah. I mean, you just have to break that shell of them thinking they're so tough and that they don't need anybody else. Right. And it's like, it's like, it's like this. It's like, I tell my little brother all the time, he's 20, right? He a man. So it's like. Like, you have to know, like, going back to what each of my words stand for, like, you have to be aware, like, you know what I mean? Like, how you carry yourself, like, how you talk, you know, like, who car you get in. Like, he, yeah, he a young guy. He has a son. My nephew, I'm always posting, that's his son. Like, you're a dad now, so it's not about you no more. And the only way you can be here, only way you can be here for my nephew, like, our dads never was, was to survive out here like that's where my somebody got to survive from because it's just like i thought about like on the court you know how you go in basketball practice and 
you got a hard practice or you see people get kicked off or cut from teams and stuff, like, somebody got to make it. And that was my mindset because coming where I come from, like, people, they end up dead or in jail. For It sounds so cliche, but it's true or pregnant. Or they just, I mean, or they just give up on themselves. Yeah, it's not a joke. Like the real world, it's really serious. You have to learn certain things in order for you to be able to succeed in this world. Look at you! I need to come to Maryland. I need to come where you at. We need to do this interview like ASAP, Rocky, because the people need to hear you talk. For real, the people I mean, need to hear you speak. She learned the hard way. She had to learn, like, it's not always about her anymore. She has a son, and he's four. I mean, he's he's the best little boy. He's the, my best friend, best person I've ever known. Mm -hmm. But 